Become a podcast buddy now and get exclusive access to the new podcast episodes. You can find more information about this on my website schulzekop.de. David Martín ni se inmuta. Estaba a la derecha de Álvaro Granados en la pantalla superior izquierda de la pantalla de la pantalla. No Le toca de nuevo ya como Canela. Sigue Edu Lorrio. Casi 21 años después, desde el día exactamente 29 de julio de 2001, la selección española masculina de waterpolo vuelve a ser la mejor del mundo. Con todo... Welcome to this podcast. Water Polo Expert Talk. Get the insights. We are here to record and uh, yeah to provide you with the next episode of the podcast. And uh, today I'm yeah very uh, honored and proud to have you, Eduardo, here on board for the next episode of the podcast. So thanks for joining today. And um, yeah, as usual, so it's up to you. So maybe to give the audience here, the listeners, a little short introduction of your person. For me, it's an it's a honor to, to be here, to be part of your podcast. Maybe also for, for the for the people um, not really knowing uh, about your person. So where are you living or coming from in, in Spain at the moment? At this moment, at this moment, Barcelona. Okay, I'm playing in for Sabadell, uh, but I'm from Madrid. Uh, came here to Barcelona uh, seven years ago uh, after after Rio Olympic Games. Um, it was a big opportunity for me, a big club natación Barcelona. I always, uh, I always living in Madrid for a small club, and in Barcelona there, um, there is many teams, more, more level to, to be competitive and to, to have more chances to, to and that's why I, I came here. Yeah, so it's also, um, yeah, as you mentioned, the, the situation that uh, maybe the center uh, around Barcelona is uh, really, yeah, let's say th there are so many clubs, yeah, playing water polo also on a yes. uh, at least high high level, yeah, from a European point of view. Um, yes. So uh, may maybe the situation of the um, Spanish league, yeah, so we have Sabadell, we have uh, Barceloneta, um, this is really the, the known clubs uh, also from the Champions League and also outside of Spain um, but when you think about the actual situation of the Spanish League uh, what do you say wh where is or what what level do the Spanish League at the moment have so besides the the two top clubs yeah we already mentioned the, you say the more announced club are Barcelona. both teams are playing Champions League but um, There are uh, in the Spanish league and uh, eight or nine teams are from Barcelona. That's uh, <laughs> people in Spain is, uh, is more concentrating in, uh, in Barcelona. Uh, there are Madrid, uh, Real Canoe, uh, there are other teams in Tenerife, there are some uh, other parts of the south of Spain, but uh, the water polo are cross and uh, you have to, to To come here in, the, in this moment to part of the of the high level of the Spanish water polo. So, do, do you think also it's a, in this case an advantage that you do have all the clubs around uh, Barcelona and you do not have to travel <coughs> for, for for an outside uh, trip or an away trip uh, then so so much hours with a bus or train or whatever? Yeah, in my opinion, it's, it's not a good thing about. The, the Spanish water polo league because uh, I prefer uh, fly every every week to other parts to the water polo more uh, divided around the Hispanic uh, area. But uh, it, it's, it's, it's the Barcelona is the is the focus of uh, water polo uh, in Spain to 
that's what I I'm playing in in, in, in by the more professional uh, area in Barcelona is uh, is here now uh, Barceloneta and Sabadell is uh, are in the in the top of Champions League and. I have to to go now. It's more professional. Yeah, yeah, and um, more professional maybe brings us uh, back to the let's say initial point maybe um, to ask somebody who's really um, successful in a position or as a as a goalkeeper. How do you start uh, or how do you come in connection with water polo? So I can imagine in Spain it's much more easier to come in touch with water polo because of the history of the of the successful team or national team and so on um, as in germany or in other countries maybe so how do you come in touch with water polo at the very beginning of your career uh, first of all uh, i have to say that uh, anyone uh, uh, some in the past water polo no no my no my dad uh, no my mom no my big brother <laughs> started to practice water polo uh, because um, I was swimming in a big uh, swimming pool of of Madrid uh, and some uh, coach uh, how how I I am uh, I I was uh, tall I was thin I was um, I have a, a physique to to maybe to be a good goalkeeper uh, <laughs> he look he, he looks me and say do you want to practice water polo and say okay we will try that, that's uh, that's how I, I i started to practice water polo uh, since that day i i i signed or i joined for uh, from my club and i, I and i was there maybe till uh, 25 years years old and mm -hmm. that's what yeah, I, so I, a long time i practice a long time maybe uh, 13 14 years in playing for real canoe in the young category uh, five years in the in the in the first team okay yeah so are, are there any moments in the past where you think okay why i choose this position of a goalie or or was it no no never in your mind saying okay maybe yeah somewhere in the field would be better maybe in, no 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 <laughs> it was uh, directly to, to to the goalie which uh, told me you have to be goalkeeper you you can be a good goalkeeper at ready to to be goalkeeper and we will try and <laughs> he, yeah, so at the end he, he, tried, he yeah choose the good option yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good so are there any yeah let's say special things or um yeah which has to be there or, or young kids or yeah young um yeah kids have to bring to the water polo saying okay i would like to be also a goalkeeper are there any any special things you should say or you would say that young kids should have this specific skill uh, from the very beginning my opinion uh, i I think when you are a very very kid uh, to to <laughs> to practice all positions you know because mm -hmm. um, in the beginning of the water polo experience uh, or your water polo life you have to to practice all you have to you you practice water polo to be happy not to be professional but as uh, uh, the water the water polo coaches uh, say to the to some players you have to be a goalkeeper or player or center for me center is a specific centers who you can look his physique the kids are are very uh, very small and uh, have tall tall kids uh, thin kids and the big ones uh, are the 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 the, the top uh, players of the teams you know? it's uh, it's it's an important decision but you have to wait to be fresh maybe 10 11 years old you can decide uh, whatever you want yeah so i think also that at the beginning when people or kids coming to 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 are in touch with water polo saying okay it's not really about the position yeah so that we have necessarily find a position for you and you and you so because it should have yeah. they should have fun at the very beginning uh, saying okay go play water polo uh, don't uh, think about the uh, result at the end or whatever um how many goals you score or uh, 
as a goal, goalkeeper maybe um, you receive so many goals yeah so it it's, doesn't matter at the end it should have really the fun point of view uh, in the um, in the target at the very beginning yeah 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 that's true um, when you are very very young you only practice water polo or other <laughs> sports to 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 uh, stay with your friends to to enjoy with your <laughs> friends with your uh, or something like that uh, uh, but the competition when you are growing up uh, competition divides you depends your physique if you are like this tall or big you are center or you are goalkeeper or you swim a yeah. lot you can be player yeah so it, it, it also depends yeah what, what you were saying is um if i understand it correctly that also the development of a of a body maybe um brings you mm. in the right position yeah so yeah we, uh, so so people yeah. or kids are growing differently yeah saying yeah. Uh, uh, at, at the beginning maybe this kid is uh let's say uh, a goalkeeper uh, and ends up where as a center or a center defender or whatever because of the developing development of a body yeah uh in Till 10 or 11 years old, the, the all players have been in, in all positions. But I think there are here, there are the, the I and the goalkeepers are the most important parts of the teams. And you have the coaches uh, have to be focused in um, uh, in, the, in the right way, you know, mm -hmm. because are the, it's the most important, the centers and the, the, the goalkeepers, there are not too many uh, mm -hmm. in Spain <laughs> that be uh, professional or a good centers or to arrive to the first team of the national team. And I think the coaches uh, are focused here in Spain uh, in to the to the young categories, the the best goalkeeper or the best uh, Center. Yeah, so uh, I think in this case, maybe all the other countries are in a quite the same situation eh? that there are not so many players, kids able to to really to reach the national team or also the the first uh, team of a, of a club. Um, then in this cri critical positions or very important positions, yeah, center, center defender, and uh, mm -hmm. a goalkeeper. So yeah. there are not so many of us, uh, of, or yeah. of you, uh, maybe not of us, of you. And in <laughs> Specifically uh, uh, with the centers, uh, I think is the is because here in Spain uh, all physics in the ninety percent of the physics are not so high, you know, mm -hmm. uh, comparing with Hungarian, so comparing with uh, Germany or Asia, Serbian, and when some kids uh, um, some is very big, is very tall, is very. Uh, <laughs> Quite in, in the team of uh, like a center, uh, immediately the coach says, "You are a center. You have to be center." <laughs> yeah, so because you are the tallest in the in the uh, in the team, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned that really the the trainer or your coach or the first coach um, uh, at the very beginning say or your first goalkeeper coach or when you first play goalkeeper says okay you have to to, to to be a goalkeeper at the end because based on your body and all the all the other aspects um are there any yeah players uh, or also goalkeepers uh, you say okay this is somehow um, um um yeah a person i would look uh, up to or uh, a goalkeeper where i say okay this is a person or a goalkeeper um, i would like to act like him uh, uh, during my game are there any other goalkeepers you have a look on and uh, try to 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 learn from them also very maybe this has to be changed yeah, from from the very beginning as a kid maybe and then right now during your professional career um, in this, um, it's very important to, to say you that uh, when you are 12, 13, you have uh, in Spain, you have the opportunity to to be part of specific center uh, of the, uh, or a specific technical center trained with uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, goalies uh, like Madrid. There, there is there are was uh, there was um, five or six. Uh, uh, 
goalkeepers like me uh, from my age in the same center in the same uh, training camp you know uh, so you can uh, study in the in the in this uh, in this center and for me, the best the best part of my of my uh, career career when i was uh, young you can um, you can share uh, too many uh, specific uh, concepts with your teammates and there are too many um, to to teach you to uh, to say you how you have to to blow how you have to 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 move in the water and for me it's a it's a uh, most values uh, areas of the spanish water polo because when you are 12 or 13 years old you can be part of this center and kids uh, in spain to to go to go there and to to practice with all players like you and the best coaches of spain yes yeah, so which is especially maybe then the right moment um uh, at this age yeah to say okay we uh, bring all the the, the, the potential um, goalie or good goalkeepers together and give them the opportunity, the chance to really work together, work with the, yeah. maybe also with the best uh, goal uh, coaches then, yeah, or best coaches at all. Yeah. Um, ju ju just to give you in this moment of this, or in the right situation where you think, okay, maybe I uh, concentrate on water polo or I concentrate on the school, on studying or whatever. So maybe this is yeah. also a critical age, yeah, saying, okay, do I have to yes. um, put more energy in the water polo um, progress or should I um, bring the progress, maybe the concentration in other areas yeah. like school or study or something? Well, in, in, in Barcelona, um, this center are trained. Uh, Len Piralkov is the second uh, coach of the national team. Uh, it's uh, to give you, it's to uh, give you to... Uh, Uh, example to understand how is to for the for the players and I think is is uh, is incredible. Go to the cannot go to the to this to this center because you have to give a, to present a, a and if you have a good level or the enough level to to be part of this center you uh, but uh, if you are in if you if you get to go in uh, you have many chances to to be a, a good a good center a good player uh, because uh, you are trained the Spain. Yeah, and I think this is maybe some something uh, differently, yeah, so that we do not have uh, maybe this kind of center or also, um, yeah, um, yeah, progress or uh, target uh, thing here in Germany. Yeah, so um, maybe this is something we can learn then from, from other countries um, because we do not have maybe this in this, yeah, in this in, um, yeah, target at the end. Yeah. Do you think the role of the goalkeeper has changed over the last years? So, um, like in soccer or football, yeah. So the the role and the active um, game um, strategy from a goalkeeper has changed. Um, do you think also for for water polo goalkeepers the game has somehow changed, or is it somehow still the same with the yeah some little minor changes yes i think uh, the role of the of the goalkeeper changed during the past um, uh, i think in the past uh, the goalkeeper has to to block to save the the <laughs> the, 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 the shoots and that, that that's it uh, actually um the goalkeeper has to for example uh, has to think about uh, for which side I have because maybe your team play some specific contra attack and you are the most important is, is from you. Um, for example, uh, now I, I am a, a goalkeeper, for example, that uh, helped too much uh, for the centers, for the centers back. So, uh, I played, in, for example, in two meters, two meters and a half to help the center the, in the goal in the goal in the goalie to, to save um, balls. I, I areas of the game, and I think uh, the, the role of them uh, too much in the in the last in the last years. Then it's not. I think the the the, the essential thing is that um, we can say or that you say, okay, the, the goalkeeper is not only there to block shots, yeah, to 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 um, 
um, yeah, make it not possible for the for the offensive player to score a goal, but it's only the first person who initiate a counter. Yeah, so to initiate yeah, yeah. the next the next counter attack from your team, uh, because you are the first first um, person who give the pass to the to the next person in the water. So uh, and this is then def definitely a change in the in the in the strategy. Yeah, for example, you can attack seven against six with the goalkeeper and too many matches uh, during the win or loss or draw because the goalkeeper score a, a ball or goalkeeper attacks and the, the team score a goal because you are a man up. Uh, there are too many that the goalkeeper has to, to be part of the, of the game and I like so much. I, I think this is also a point um, which I heard so many times also from other goalkeepers um, that they are yeah love to be more involved in the game. Yeah, so it, it's as you say, not only the fact that I have to 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 block the ball and the shoot, uh, because I'm really actively involved in the game. Yeah, so and this is yeah something when I understand you correctly, exactly the point uh, you mentioned. Yeah, that you love yeah. to be active involved in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, for sure, the, uh, the most important thing of the goalkeeper is it's always a block block the ball <laughs> safe, for sure. Uh, you you can you can see the, the Champions League the the goalkeeper uh, finish the game with a 60 60 of the of the saves uh, probably and his team uh, won the match uh, yesterday for example uh, Dobodanov the goal, uh, played an incredible match against Olympiakos and Ranitsky uh, can draw again uh, it's, it's the most important uh, thing and the the, the main Uh, in um, uh, job for the for the goalkeeper is saving balls, but and we can do during the match. And it's very important that the goalkeeper uh, uh, can be part of other areas of the game. 